There is good news on the horizon for thousands of Jamaicans linked to the tourism sector. Royal Caribbean International, the second largest cruise line in the world, will resume limited operations to Jamaica come November. In a release, Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett said that Royal Caribbean senior executives informed him of this development in Miami, Florida this week. Carol Francis has that story. Executives of Royal Caribbean says once a number of logistical matters, some of which are outside Jamaica's control, are effectively resolved, they will be in a position to significantly boost cruises to the island, bringing in tens of thousands of fully vaccinated cruise visitors. They also reiterated their desire to employ thousands of Jamaicans across a wide range of job functions and are awaiting government's regulatory amendments to make it a reality. The new developments come following meetings led by Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett and his team with Chief Executive Office of Carnival Corporation, Arnold Donald and other senior company executives in Miami. Carnival Corporation is the largest cruise company in the world. They informed of plans for 110 or more cruises with more than 200,000 fully vaccinated visitors for Jamaica over the next few months. The cruise industry was among the worst affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The industry grounded to a halt for over a year. The industry has slowly resumed operations to multiple destinations, including Jamaica, with the implementation of robust health and safety protocols, including fully vaccinated passengers and crews. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Carol Francis.